Hello boys and girls. Our story for today is a big book that I brought from school and it is about, guess, chicks. Let's read the title. The Chick and the Duckling. It's written by Mira Ginsburg. And I have my handy dandy star pointer with the square in the middle because today we're gonna see if we can spot some tricky words in our big book. The chick and the duckling. Before we read the story, I wanted to point out the photograph of the author, Mira Ginsburg, and it tells us a little bit about her. When she was growing up, her parents taught her to love books. Now she likes to write books of her own. And then the, the couple at the bottom are the illustrators. It says, Jose Arugo likes to draw animals. He says, it seems no matter how I draw them, they look funny. Ariane Dewey added the color to his drawings. So they were both part of the team that illustrated the chick and the duckling. As we read today, boys and girls, we're going to also notice there's lots of quotation marks in the story. Remember the quotation marks tell us when someone is talking or a character. So we'll be watching for those as well. A duckling came out of the shell. I am out, he said. Boys and girls notice that the quotation marks start before the I and they end after the word out because the duckling is shouting, I am out. And I'm framing one of our tricky words. See if you can read it at home. He. Oh, look who else came out. Me too, said the chick. We're going to frame out the tricky word me. Oh, I also see our word said. I am taking a walk, said the duckling. Tricky word, I, and I see those quotation marks telling what the duckling's doing. Me too, said the chick. Look at the beautiful flowers it looks like they're walking through. I am digging a hole, said the duckling. Quotation marks. Let's see if we can frame out the word the. T-H-E, tongue between your teeth. Look at those cute worms. Chicks and ducks like to eat worms. Me too, said the chick. Tricky word, said. I wonder if they'll get one to eat. I found a worm, said the duckling. Me too, said the chick. Look, they're fighting over the worm. We'll have to remind them to share. Good friends share. I caught a butterfly, said the duckling. Ooh, look at that with his long duck beak, duck bill. He reached up and caught one. Looks like he let go of the worm and let the chick have it. I am going for a swim, said the duckling. Look at all those tricky words we know. We know the root word go, G-O. Ducks do like to swim. Me too, said the chick. Look at the chick bouncing over into the water. The fish are maybe saying, look out. I wonder if the chick can swim, but I bet the worm's glad that the chick let go of him. I am swimming, said the duckling. Me too, cried the chick. Well, I, I guess they can swim. Oh, look at the duck diving down and the chick too. You can see the ocean or the river rocks at the bottom of the water. The duckling pulled the chick out. That was nice. I'm going for another swim, 
said the duckling. There's our word I. Look how it's next to the letter M. If you put them together with an apostrophe, it makes the contraction I'm. But look at the chick. Does he look like he's ready for a swim? I don't think so. He looks like he's a little bit tired. Not me, said the chick. I guess our chick is going to have fun on the land, boys and girls. I hope you noticed all of those apostrophes in our story, excuse me, quotation marks in our story. Now we're going to see if you know some of these tricky words. We had M-E, the tricky word, me. Here's one that rhymes with me. Put a in front of the E. E, he. There was in the story the tricky word, a. Uh, a chicken, a duckling, our connecting word, and our tricky word, quiet sound, the, the. We had the tricky word, out. They both got out of their egg. You may have noticed our tricky word said a lot in the story. And of course, our capital I. Boys and girls, I'm going to put the word chick up. It's not a tricky word we've learned, but we do know some of the sounds, so we can sound it out. Ch, the chugga chugga choo choo sound of ch, eh, and then the final sound, k. Let's sound it out. Ch, eh, k. The word is chick. And another word I pulled out of the story, go. Go is one of our tricky words but we added an ing to it, and it becomes the action word going. Let's practice. Help me read all of these words we pulled out of our story. We know I, out, an, he, ch, ick, chick, going, me, a, uh, the, and said. Boys and girls, your job today is get out your journal. See if you can write down some of the tricky words from our story today in your journal and maybe draw a picture of something that happened in the chick and the duckling. Bye-bye.